Our innate human curiosity drives us to unearth the universe's hidden treasures, yet there remain secrets that perhaps should stay shrouded in mystery. Ever heard the saying, curiosity killed the cat? From eerie experiments to spine-tingling snapshots, let's journey through 10 discoveries that things humans were never meant to see. Number 1. A witch. Navigating through history's shadowed corridors, we find ourselves confronted with a chilling tableau, seemingly plucked straight from a horror film's darkest scenes. Yet, the true essence of this video diverges sharply from the terror it seemingly portrays. Whispered across various forums, rumors circulate of a witch, seemingly defying gravity as she ominously drags another soul up the side of a building. Let's step back for a moment and unravel the historical tapestry surrounding this eerie imagery. Europe, gripped in the icy clutches of witch hunt hysteria, witnessed the tragic demise of tens of thousands, wrongfully condemned under the shadowy veil of witchcraft. This dark chapter, spanning from the 15th to 18th centuries, was marked by tumultuous societal shifts, religious discord, and a profound misunderstanding of the natural world. In this tempest of fear and confusion, accusations of witchcraft became a convenient, albeit tragic, outlet for unresolved conflicts, deep-seated grudges, and the myriad ills afflicting society. It's conceivable that a sight as unsettling as the one presented in this video could have fanned the flames of paranoia, leading to actions that, through the lens of modernity, appear both inhumane and utterly reprehensible. One can't help but ponder, if such a scene unfolded before the eyes of those living in that turbulent era, what drastic and harrowing measures might have been taken. As we delve into this perplexing chapter of history, let's reflect on the power of fear and misinformation, and the paramount importance of understanding and empathy in our own times. Number 2. The Elephant's Foot in Chernobyl. Stepping back in time to one of humanity's darkest moments, we uncover a relic inside the Chernobyl nuclear plant, the elephant's foot. This monstrous mass of corium stands as a chilling testament to the catastrophic 1986 nuclear disaster, a potent reminder of the perils of nuclear energy. Formed from melted nuclear fuel rods reacting violently with structural materials, this deadly artifact was so saturated with radiation upon its discovery that a few fleeting moments in its vicinity promised a swift demise. Emitting a ghostly blue glow from Cherenkov radiation and radiating intense heat, the elephant's foot was an untouchable beacon of lethality. Remote-controlled machinery became the eyes and hands of the brave workers, navigating this perilous landscape, while mirrors were cleverly employed to capture photographs, preventing direct exposure to the brutal radiation. These images revealed a solid, dense entity, pulsating with dangerous radioactivity. Despite the passage of time reducing its radioactive threat, the elephant's foot remains a hazardous relic, a somber monument to a disaster that should never have unfolded reminding us all of the unwavering respect we must maintain for the forces we seek to harness. Number 3. Team of Killer Whales Hunting Seal Delving into the realm of nature's most formidable predators, we find ourselves captivated by the orcas, often referred to as killer whales. Their reputation precedes them, but it is their remarkable hunting skills and high intelligence that truly set them apart in the animal kingdom. Orcas thrive in collaborative hunting groups known as pods, which can be either familial units or strategically formed alliances, all united with a common purpose. In these pods, each orca plays a pivotal role, contributing to the synergy of this aquatic hunting team. It's a display of nature's sophistication, akin to a well-oiled machine in operation. A prime example of their hunting prowess is the wave-washing technique, predominantly witnessed in colder climes. Here, seals seeking solace on ice flows are met with a strategic challenge. The orcas, utilizing their collective strength, create waves powerful enough to either dislodge the seals into the water or destabilize the ice flows, rendering the seals vulnerable. Once in the water, the seals find themselves at a significant disadvantage, transforming into more accessible prey for the orcas. While this spectacle of nature might tug at our heartstrings, it serves as a raw reminder of the survival instincts embedded within these creatures. It's a dance of life and death, played out in the vast, open waters, showcasing the orcas in their true element, as unparalleled predators, intelligent, coordinated, and unforgiving in their pursuit. As we observe these magnificent creatures, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and brilliance of nature's design, where every being, no matter how formidable, plays a role in the intricate tapestry of life. Number 4. Shadow Experiment. In this captivating moment caught on tape, we observe Louis Laudan, a dedicated Canadian physicist, garbed in a mask and braced against a backdrop, ready to confront a burst of blinding brilliance. This isn't just any experiment, it's a deep dive into the realms of thermal radiation. The scene unfolds as an intense wave of thermal energy engulfs the area, creating stark shadows on walls and pavements, wherever objects, or in this case, Lewis, stand in its path. The aftermath is haunting. Lewis Laudan's life was tragically cut short. 
While some speculate a direct link between the experiment and his untimely demise, others argue that his passing was coincidental, unrelated to the hazardous ordeal he braved. Regardless of the speculation, this experiment serves as a vivid, raw demonstration of the destructive power nuclear forces hold. Before we delve further into this topic, let's take a moment, hit that like button, press subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our journey through science's most thrilling and perilous adventures. Now, let's get back to unraveling the mysteries and untold stories behind nuclear experiments and their lasting impacts on both science and humanity. Number 5. Iron Man Diving Suit Let's turn back the hands of time and immerse ourselves in the world of early 20th century deep sea exploration, with a piece of equipment that was nothing short of groundbreaking in its day, the Iron Man diving apparatus. Conceived by Captain Venus B. Petrie, this metallic behemoth was engineered to give divers a shield, far superior to the standard canvas suits prevalent during that era. Picture this, a suit entirely crafted from metal, with a squared-off design and portholes for the diver to peer through. It was a monumental sight to behold and a significant leap in diving technology. Although articulated with movable joints to grant some degree of flexibility underwater, let's be real, it was a far cry from the freedom of movement divers enjoy today. Now, the Iron Man wasn't just a suit, it was a paradox in itself. On one side of the coin, its robust metallic structure provided unparalleled protection, acting as a fortress against underwater perils, from the menacing embrace of sharp objects to unexpected encounters with marine life. But, flip the coin, and you'd see its Achilles heel. The very thing that made it a sanctuary, its weight and rigid form, also made it a cumbersome companion underwater, restricting the diver's movements and potentially putting them in a tight spot during critical situations. So here's a question to stir your curiosity. If given the chance, would you have dared to don this metal marvel and plunge into the ocean's depths? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's dive into this historical adventure together. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Here's a glimpse into the enigmatic, a photograph shrouded in mystery and whispers of a curse. Originating from the depths of historical archives, this image is believed to be one of the early visual records from the tumultuous times of the Second World War. The location captured in this photograph is steeped in legend, said to be ensnared by the vengeful spirits of those tragically lost in a recent calamity. Now, the veracity of these claims remains cloaked in uncertainty, with no concrete evidence to affirm the tales that surround this image. Yet, it has captivated the minds of many, sparking fervent discussions across internet forums. People who have encountered this photograph online report a pervasive sense of unease, as if the image itself exudes an aura of discomfort. I must admit, even I am not immune to the unsettling vibes this photograph emanates. It leaves one to ponder, does the photo truly hold a curse, or is it the power of suggestion weaving its spell upon our minds? How does this image make you feel? Share your thoughts, but tread lightly, for we may be delving into realms beyond our understanding. Number 6. Island of Dolls From the heart of bustling Mexico City emerges a story that intertwines tragedy, mystery, and the supernatural, welcome to the Island of Dolls. This chilling locale, recognized globally as one of the most haunting places on earth, traces its origins back to a single man, Don Julian Santana Barrera, and a series of eerie events that unfolded under the canopy of its trees. The island, now home to countless dolls hanging from branches, each with a story etched in their weathered features, holds a narrative as captivating as it is haunting. According to local legends and whispers from the past, Don Julian discovered the lifeless body of a young girl in one of the island's canals, with a solitary doll floating nearby. In a solemn tribute and an attempt to console her wandering spirit, he placed the doll in the tree. However, this act of respect marked the beginning of strange and unsettling occurrences, as whispers, footsteps, and cries filled the night, transforming the island into a place shrouded in mystery and fear. Motivated by a mix of terror and a sense of duty, Don Julian spent the next five decades adorning the island with dolls. Some were found in garbage heaps, others traded for his produce, each one adding to the eerie tapestry of the island. In 2001, the story took a tragic turn as Don Julian himself was found deceased, his body adding a final, somber note to the island's lore. Today, the Island of Dolls stands as a chilling testimony to this story, with visitors reporting unnerving experiences of dolls that seem to watch them and whispers that echo through the trees. Whether you believe the dolls are imbued with the spirit of the deceased girl, or simply find the island's isolation and the decaying state of the dolls unsettling, the Island of Dolls remains an enigmatic, haunting location that continues to capture the imagination and send shivers down the spines of all who visit. Number 7. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Diving into this peculiar snapshot, it's as if we've stepped into a strange dream, or perhaps, a nightmare. Mickey Mouse, an icon of joy and childhood whimsy, takes on a sinister twist, 
transformed into something unexpectedly eerie and disconcerting. Is it the monochromatic filter casting shadows of unease, or perhaps the sea of faces concealed behind identical, unsettling Mickey Mouse masks? It's a visual paradox, blurring the lines between playful nostalgia and surreal dystopia. Rewind to the 1950s, the Mickey Mouse Club makes its television debut, a variety show catering to the imaginations of countless children. Yet, Mickey's journey began long before, in 1928, with the animated short, Steamboat Willie. Swiftly, this cheerful character won over hearts globally, becoming an unstoppable cultural phenomenon by the early 1930s. Imagine theaters filled with young, eager faces, all gathering under the banner of the Mickey Mouse Club, partaking in events centered around this animated figure. Now, envision those same faces, hidden behind Mickey Mouse masks. While some might find a sense of community and joy in these gatherings, this image captures a moment where innocence takes a turn towards the uncanny. It's a peculiar slice of history, showcasing the double-edged sword of fandom and mass adoration. On one hand, the unifying power of a beloved character. On the other, a visual reminder of how even the most innocent symbols can take on a different hue through a different lens. What are your thoughts on this striking image? Does it leave you feeling nostalgic, or does it send a chill down your spine? Share your perspective, and let's unravel the mystery of this haunting tableau together. Number 8. Ghost Army of the World War In the heart of World War II's chaotic battlegrounds, a unique and innovative tactic was employed, one that relied more on creativity and cunning than traditional military might. Enter the Ghost Army, formally designated as the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops, an eclectic group consisting of artists, actors, designers, and sound engineers. Their mission? To bamboozle the German forces by crafting an elaborate facade of military strength and activity where, in reality, there was none. Rather than guns and grenades, their arsenal included inflatable tanks, counterfeit radio transmissions, and meticulously curated sound effects. Picture this. Rubber replicas of M4 Sherman tanks so convincing that from a distance, they could easily dupe enemy reconnaissance and spies. These faux tanks, accompanied by inflatable jeeps and artillery pieces, were the linchpins in a grand illusion designed to deceive the Germans, compelling them to re-evaluate their strategies and divert valuable resources away from actual Allied operations. However, the Ghost Army's craftiness didn't end with inflatable decoys. Sound engineers played a pivotal role, creating authentic-sounding audio tracks that replicated the unmistakable din of tank treads, the hustle and bustle of busy army camps, and the movements of large groups of troops. These sounds were broadcasted through loudspeakers, further embellishing the illusion and reinforcing the presence of a substantial military force. Simultaneously, radio operators weaved a web of deception, transmitting bogus messages and allowing German interceptors to capture just enough misinformation to mislead. This often resulted in the enemy making critical strategic errors, as they believed substantial Allied troop movements were underway. For years following the war, the Ghost Army's innovative and daring exploits remained shrouded in secrecy. It's only in recent times that their significant contributions have been unveiled, shedding light on the ingenious strategies employed to secure victory. This extraordinary tale serves as a testament to the power of creativity and deception in the art of war. Number 9. Revisiting the Attic. At first glance, this photograph may seem rather simple, perhaps even unremarkable. But, allow me to shed light on its profound significance. Here we see Mr. Otto Frank, enveloped in solitude within the attic of the secret annex in Amsterdam. This poignant setting is etched in history, linked to Anne Frank, the young girl whose heart-trending diary captured the world's attention. Anne's diary serves as a powerful narrative, penned with raw emotion as her family remained concealed in this very attic, their only sanctuary from the relentless pursuit of the Nazis. Tragically, their refuge was compromised, leading to arrest and deportation to the merciless confines of concentration and extermination camps. Anne and her sister Margot succumbed to the harsh conditions of Bergen-Belsen, while their mother, Edith Frank, perished in Auschwitz. In the aftermath of the war, Otto Frank, the sole survivor, returned to Amsterdam, his heart heavy with the loss of his loved ones. It was here, in this attic filled with memories and echoes of the past, that he was entrusted with Anne's diary, recovered and preserved by Meep Gies, a courageous individual who had extended a helping hand to the Frank family during their time of peril. Today, we remember Anne Frank and the profound impact of her words. Her diary, a testament to her spirit and resilience, invites us into her world, offering a glimpse of her hopes, fears, and unwavering belief in humanity. And for those who may hesitate, fearing an intrusion into Anne's private thoughts, it's important to remember that she aspired for her words to reach the world. So, I encourage you, with a heart open and tissues at the ready, to delve into the pages of Anne Frank's diary.
Embark on this poignant journey and bear witness to the strength and courage of a young girl whose voice continues to resonate, transcending the confines of time and history. Number 10. Armored car disguised as an elephant. Shifting gears from the intriguing world of inflatable tanks, let's delve into another fascinating chapter of war tactics, this time, from the era of the British Raj in India, spanning from 1858 to 1947. During this period, the British faced the colossal task of managing a diverse and expansive land, teeming with rich cultures, traditions, and not to mention, resistance movements. The military was a crucial pillar in maintaining British dominance, tasked with both suppressing internal upheavals and safeguarding against external threats. With the dawn of the 20th century, the northern borders of India presented a looming threat, particularly with the rising power of the Russian Empire. This geopolitical chess game, known as the Great Game, saw the British and Russian empires locked in a diplomatic tussle over Central Asia, placing India's frontiers in the spotlight of strategic defense planning. Enter the elephants. These majestic creatures, deeply woven into the fabric of Indian culture and society, were not just participants in ceremonies and processions but also played roles in local warfare. The British, tapping into the reverence and ubiquity of elephants, ingeniously camouflaged their military vehicles to resemble these animals. The disguised armored cars could then navigate the terrain with a cloak of familiarity and respect, less likely to arouse suspicion or hostility from the local populace. This tactic showcases a brilliant blend of military strategy and cultural awareness, allowing the British forces to maneuver stealthily, all while tapping into the social and cultural tapestry of India. It's a captivating glimpse into the ingenuity of warfare, where deception and cultural intelligence played pivotal roles in the grand chessboard of imperial dominance. So, as we peel back the layers of history, we uncover these hidden gems of strategy and subterfuge, painting a richer, more nuanced picture of the past. Which of these things intrigued you the most? Let me know in the comments down below and also check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now and I'll see you in the next video.